Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi, the son of Tobe, and I am here just to give an update on the Zimbabwean elections. Uh, there are many people who have been, some of them got my number from uh, Facebook, the AVG News uh, page, and they've been inundating us with messages asking uh, on the outcome of the Zimbabwean elections. There are many as well who've been sharing some worrying WhatsApp messages with us, trying to verify if these are true. There are others again who are sending us uh, some unverified uh, election results and they want to know if these are true. And this is why uh, I'm making this video to try and bring you up to date with what is happening in the Zimbabwean election. Uh, we know that Zimbabwe uh, went to its latest harmonized election on the 23rd of August, of course, because it was supposed to be one day of, of voting, but because of some challenges that were faced by the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, which is the SEC, uh, voting had to be stopped in certain areas, it had to be delayed in certain areas because there was a shortage of ballot papers, especially of the local government uh, elections, that is your council uh, elections. Uh, these problems were manifest in especially the two largest cities, that is the capital city, Harare, and the second largest city, uh, which is Bulawayo. So voting had to be extended to the still of the night, and to in some areas the following morning that is the 24th uh, of august which is yesterday so now what we have is there are some results that have been confirmed by the zimbabwe electoral commission but you'll also know that uh, where results have been counted and verified they are posted outside the polling stations and usually the candidates themselves uh, are available are present when the voting is uh, done to verify some of the things and their agents again uh, will be there to verify some of these things and to sign that these are the results as we counted them and therefore before Zek announces some of these results already the candidates have them but now we need to guard uh, against falsified information especially that which we get on whatsapp and other social media uh, platforms like X and Facebook. But what we have right now is that uh, there are some uncontested seats, uh, council seats, I think there are 90 of them, which uh, went to ZANU-PF representatives unopposed, uh, some of them are in Masuingo, Midlands, uh, and other areas. Uh, then for from those that, have, that we have, Confirmation of, we know that Triple C uh, won the whole of Bulawayo uh, in both council and uh, parliamentary elections. There are 12 parliamentary seats in Bulawayo, Triple C won of, uh, all of those. Uh, there are 29 council wards in Bulawayo, Triple C won all of those. And we're expecting the Triple C to again run Bulawayo City Council with uh their mayoral candidate being or their proposed mayor being senator david Coulthard, and we therefore expect him to cruise through to that because everyone will be voting there is from his party and they'll be having a briefing to just formalize uh, his position as mayor of course they may change certain things but we expect him to be the mayor and then in Chitung is again town council we know for certain that triple c has won all 25 of the available words uh, they've won again in plum tree uh, they won nine uh, it's unconfirmed but the last time we checked they had won nine of the 13 seats of the 13 words rather in uh cholocho zano pf is maintaining its strength hold uh, in the rural areas, especially in Matebelele in South and uh, uh, Mashonaland uh, rural 
uh, constituencies. We hear that Fisani Moyo has won Kwanda Chitaunze, is confirmed. Uh, Umpile Marupi has won again in Kwanda. Uh, they are both Sanu PF. Uh, we also hear that um, Energy Muto is also won a seat. There is a number of seats. In fact, Zanu PF is leading Triple uh, C in terms of the early results that have been obtained. So this is where we are right now. But we we don't have them offhand. I don't have them offhand, uh, these results. But they are all these confirmed results on the AVG News Facebook page. Just go to AVG News. Just go to Facebook and search AVG News. You will find all these results that we have, which have been confirmed. And you will find them there. Uh, we keep on, of course, updating uh, as and when we get verified results because we are very very careful not to be part of those who spread lies misinformation and disinformation then uh, the worrying whatsapp messages that i'm getting which i'm talking about which has also been shared in a number of whatsapp groups the first one emanates from the parties themselves Zanu PF held a presser. They claimed victory. Although they didn't come out openly to say, yes, we found, but they said they expect to win. And so far, uh, the results that have been pointed, uh, that have been counted, point to them winning. From what we have, of course, uh, including some unverified results, I mean, some unconfirmed, not some unverified, but some unconfirmed results. Uh, is that ZANU PF is indeed ahead in terms of the parliamentary elections and we expect them to win parliament. They might get 60%, they might get above 60%, which means they will form the next parliament, uh, parliamentary majority, let me say. Uh, and then C also held a press conference yesterday, we have it on this channel, where Mr. Promise Mkwanazu is their new national spokesperson, also spoke rightly and correctly to the challenges that the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission faced. He spoke again to allegations of voter intimidation, and he mentioned the forever associates of Zimbabwe, FAS, as those who led this kind of intimidation, we posted videos the day before yesterday of FAS members manning what they called exit poll surveys, and they had ZANU PF symbols on those. We saw police chasing them away, but they had already, to our understanding, gathered people's information, they had written down people's names. They were demanding that when people have voted, they should pass through them and give them serial numbers of the ballot papers they used to vote. And this is illegal. That's why you saw police uh, chasing them away. Uh, we don't know why they were not arrested because they had to be arrested, but they were not arrested. It's a worrying issue and we commiserate with the triple C in this. But now, uh, both parties have had no right, have no right to declare parallelly victories which have not been declared by the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, which is the only body mandated with counting, collating, verifying, and announcing results of an election in Zimbabwe. It's a worrying factor, especially in a bipolar society that Zimbabwe is right now, for political parties to be doing this. They're actually disrespecting the electoral process, both of them. Um, we have seen again, and this is not something that is new, uh, Advocate Nelson Chamisa, on his Twitter handle, declaring that he has won the election. He did that in 2023, in 2018, I mean. They did that in 2013 as MTC uh, T. 
they did that um, in 2008 when they held a press conference in South Africa and declared that they had won in ele the election in Zimbabwe. What we gather right now is that um, the elections, the election results haven't been completely counted, but it doesn't look good for Triple C and Advocate Nelson Chamis. We have to prepare you for this so that you are not misled. Don't hold high your hopes of a change of government in Zimbabwe. It's yet to be verified. We are not going to announce because we are not mandated to announce, but my plea with you Zimbabweans is just be patient, be lawful, be peaceful, and await the final confirmation of results. We have seen in some constituencies, some of them which I have already mentioned, others of which are already posted on the AVG News website, that where results have been confirmed, Zek has already declared the winners there. So let's be peaceful. Let's not follow everything that is posted on WhatsApp. Let's not be spreaders of misinformation. Let's not be creators of disinformation because at the end of the day, there will be a Zimbabwe to continue building and rebuilding after this election. And my plea to political parties is stop inflaming this situation. Stop playing around with people's emotions. Stop using people. The people went, you campaigned, you did the best that you could. We saw President Emerson Nangaka holding rallies. We saw Advocate Nelson Chamisa in an unprecedented uh, way of hard working, holding in some days three rallies a day. You did the best that you could. Now allow the will of the people to prevail, both of you, President Nanga and your party, uh, Advocate Nelson Chamisa and your party. Let's allow the electoral process that we all agreed to, to roll out the eventual winners. And for those who would have lost, it's not your loss. Uh, there are no winners and losers. What we know for certain is that the people have spoken. Let's respect the will of the people. Let us not spread disinformation which will endanger the lives and safety of Zimbabweans. Let us think about the people. Let us not use the people as pawns in our political games. Because at the end of the day, these are human beings. They've got feelings. They've got emotions. They've got families. They've got a life to live. Let us not uh, push them into throwing their bodies on the line of danger, into sacrificing their lives. We have already lost uh, some citizens due to political uh, intolerance, due to political miscalculations, and due to political uh, desperation. We lost a beloved brother, father of two, Mr. Chitinashe Chitsunge, in a manner that is very brutal, in a manner that is uh, seriously worrying and unforgivable. So let's allow the process to unfold. Let us accept the result as it comes. Yes, we do admit that there were a number of irregularities. They might have been rigging. There might have been a lot of gamesmanships, gerrymandering, but at the end of the day, if we believe as leaders that the elections were stolen and that people have to rise up, let us be the first ones to rise up and people and let people follow us. But before it all, we must understand why we are doing that. Is it worth it? At the end of the day, democracy must prevail. We saw what happened in America where Donald Trump tried to deny defeat, where he claimed rigging, 
we came up with all these sorts of frivolous clips, frivolous claims. Now he's facing the music. He's likely to be jailed. So we don't want that. And in Zimbabwe, we know what is going to happen in as far as the state that is presiding over us is concerned. The WhatsApp messages again that are spreading that the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission offices have been uh, bombarded by the have been stormed rather by the army. The army the, the, the claims that the army has taken over the ZEC offices. They have ta uh, confiscated phones from the uh, officers. They have sent them home and the military has taken over blah blah blah. These are dangerous claims according to what we have which are all based on some uh, fatal imagination of those who want to render the country ungovernable, who want to raise people's anger, who want to force people onto the streets, like what we saw in 2018, where people were influenced to try and storm ZEC offices uh, after people claimed that Priscilla Chikumba the ZEC chairperson had been beaten up by the military uh, and the results were now in danger. Yet people knew that they had lost the election. It does not repeat that. There are also, there are also claims that uh, Vice President Chiwenga is refusing for the results to be announced. He has been refusing all along. But what we know is that Vice President Chiwenga has, has not been in Zimbabwe from the 23rd of uh of, of, of August, he was actually in South Africa attending a BRICS summit. He was here even yesterday in Johannesburg. So let us not create these things that at the end of the day will create a bad image for Zimbabwe, that at the end of the day will endanger people's lives, that at the end of the day will create uh, a number of new orphans that at the end of the day will create whip doors and widowers on things that we can at the end of the day prevent. Thank you very much. We will continue to update you on our page on Facebook because we cannot be coming here live, uh, I mean recording videos every now and then. There are some of these things that need to be reported uh, real time and that is why the page, just follow it and like it, the page that is AVG News is on Facebook. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it. And also, be free to participate in these discussions using the comment section underneath this video. Thank you.